Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I woke up energized and excited about today's message. I'm going to entitle it Experiencing Bliss. I was so blessed on June 6th, 2018, I got to experience Samadhi. And I thought I had experienced it before, but this time I experienced something like I had never seen before, which gets me hoping maybe there's even higher and higher levels of bliss. But my friends, it's everything you could ever want. Uh, we're, I'm going to teach you from the Yoga Sutras. You know, I have thousands of books here in my home, and but there's a handful that have changed my life and made such a huge impact. And one of them is the Yoga Sutras by Pat and Jolly. And it's a thick book. I've read it several times and I've broken it down uh, to the main message. And the main message is yoga, which means union, which means absorption, which is samadhi. And he has an eight limb system that I can teach you in just a matter of moments and it will completely change your life. So I drew, drew it out here on the whiteboard. I hope the camera's picking that up. Uh, I put Pat and Jolly's eight limbs and I drew it as a tree. And, and so you have the tree trunk and then eight limbs coming off. And I want you to think of it like a ladder. So each is a rung. Uh, the first one is prohibitions. This is the shall nots. Um, you know, shall not kill, shall not steal. We know them all instinctively. Uh, the second limb is the injunctions, the things that we should do. We, we should be pure. We should pray. We should have a spiritual practice. And, and my friends, these two first rungs are so important. And you have to get back past these two to get up here to union, uh, to yoga, uh, to being yoked with the divine. Why would we want to be yoked with the divine? Because everything you want is in spirit. Spirit is unconditional love that we all instinctively crave. It's kindness, it's provision, it's protection, it's bliss. And my friends, but, but we got to get to a place to get past these two first rungs most people have to break down. That's what happened to me. I had to break and it wasn't easy because I'm a very stubborn person, but it's so easy to lie to ourselves, to hold on to our sins and errors and our, our, our addictions and, and things that we instinctively know we shouldn't be doing. It's not for our highest good, uh, but we lie to ourselves to try to hang on to it. And we usually won't let go until something happens and that we finally break and we get real honest with ourselves and say, okay, uh, you know, I'm going to get real with myself and uh, admit this is not for my highest good. And I've had selfish motives and reasons why. And and, and we get real and, and we really let those things go. We, we make a decision. Do you know what? I want to start living in purity. I, I want to let the lie and illusion really go. I want to let the sin and error go. And once we do that, we go to the third limb, which is positions. And, and I was excited to read about the position. So the positions, um, you see it like in the yoga studios and, and all my wonderful friends on their Instagram. I always see them doing these amazing different postures, you know, and my kids are into yoga and I try to do it with them and I can't, my friends. I am not flexible at all, but I was so happy to read in the yoga sutras. His posture is just to be able to sit comfortably for an extended period of time. Thank God I can do that. I can sit all day if need be. Uh, so uh, once you get to the posture where you can sit comfortably, spine erect, we go to the breath. And the breath work, you know, is so important. You, you know when you get like fearful or angry and you start, your, your breath gets very rapid and you get very tense. And so um, the physiological um, thing going on in your body affects your breath. And so they found that your breath also affects your uh, nervous system. And so by slowing your breath, it, it triggers uh, something in your body to feel, oh, okay, we're safe, we're relaxed, and, and it releases uh, all the stress, and, and your muscles begin to relax, and you're starting to get into that meditative space, and that's what this whole thick book is about, is about getting 
where you can actually be able to meditate to get to the state that you need to get to get to union with the divine so after you you've got your posture comfortable you're doing your breath work next is the sense withdrawal this is so important because we can have up to 60,000 thoughts a day and many of them are negative and worrisome you know and so you'll see as you sit down to meditate and you're doing your breath work your mind will start to think do I need to change the oil in the car you know and just all these different things your mind wants to go think about so you need to withdraw your senses and you need to close your eyes you know what helps me a lot is I'll put on some relaxing <clears throat> music some people say don't have any sound for myself, I like to have some peaceful meditative music. It kind of dry, drowns out all the other noises. And, and then I'll do a counting exercise um, because our mind wants to think of something, you know. And so I'll let it think of numbers. Uh, as I breathe in, I'll think one, two, three, four. As I breathe out, one, two, three, four. And I'll even let my mind visualize the numbers. And it's helping me to get to that right state where we can get to one pointedness which comes next and that's the next limb is concentration so here's where you're going to add a mantra or a one pointed concentration uh, to get to where we really want to get samadhi you're going to want to focus on the divine within because that's the goal that we have here with this yoga with this union with this yoking together of god and man once you get that uh, concentration where you're focused <clears throat> on that one point you go to the next step which is meditation and, and now you're in meditation and it's just flowing smoothly your thoughts have pretty much stopped you just have that one thought of you and spirit as one and 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 you'll start to feel all the feelings that is associated with that you're going to start to that bliss is going to start to come because you're going to start feeling unconditional love you're going to start feeling the safety that comes with being in this space the provision the protection uh, the kindness you're going to you're going to start to just come into this beautiful meditative space and you'll lose track of all time and then the ultimate goal my friends is absorption this is where the two become one God and man one Patanjali says Brahman Atman same when you realize that God and you are the same you are in truth unconditional love you are in truth peace you in truth are powerful and free and you see there's no separation and my friends it will change you I, I wrote that day in here june 6th and i put perfect perfection that's the only way i could describe that feeling and my friends i tell you it is worth it it will change your life it will change your perception and perception is everything pat and jolly talks about that what we our ideas and our beliefs and what we perceive as real becomes real in our life and so if you have a wrong perception you're creating a wrong reality so we have to have a change of mind a change of heart and we can only find that highest truth inside of us and we find that by going inside and meditating my friends it's worth taking the time to meditate to, to get yourself pure to do the work and, and and to reach that state my friends where you feel and experience God, you experience spirit, you experience truth because it's going to change your perception. And as you know, the beliefs that we hold, the perceptions and focus and intentions that we set is what we create in our life. So imagine if you start creating from that divine within, from that fravashi, that divine spark that is perfection, and you start creating your world and life from that place I, I don't think i have to describe to you the drastic change that we'll see in our world my friends i hope you enjoyed this if you did please share it with someone know i love you and we'll see you tomorrow